Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. We're diving into a new era where the rapid growth of electric vehicles has hit the brakes. The market has cooled off, sparking an unprecedented price war as EV manufacturers slash prices to stay afloat. As a result, these companies are bleeding cash, and the quickest way to stop the hemorrhage is by reducing their workforce. Yes, you heard it right. The EV market is facing a wave of layoffs. Thousands are being handed pink slips, and we're here to discuss six major instances. Number six, Tesla trims 10% of its workforce. Let's kick things off with Tesla, the global leader in EV manufacturing. The past decade saw Tesla's workforce balloon to 140,000 employees, riding the wave of rapid expansion. However, the tide has turned. The growth of EVs has hit a plateau, and for the first time in years, Tesla is seeing red. These are testing times for Tesla, necessitating a slew of cost-cutting measures, including layoffs. Tesla recently announced plans to trim its global workforce by 10%, affecting 14,000 employees. The layoffs will span across all plants, with over 6,000 planned in the U.S. alone. The breakdown includes 3,332 in Texas, 2,688 in California, 700 in Nevada, and 285 in Buffalo. Internationally, the majority of the layoffs will occur in China, where Tesla is grappling with a 43% sales slump and a fierce price war with local EV manufacturers. Approximately 400 jobs will also be cut in Germany. Interestingly, the layoffs aren't limited to the basic workforce. Tesla also plans to downsize its software service sectors. The recent departure of key executives like Drew Baglino, Rohan Patel, Rebecca Tanucci, and Daniel Ho further underscores the challenging times ahead for Tesla. Number 5. Rivian Initiates Second Round of Layoffs Rivian, once a beacon of promise in the EV industry, is now grappling with a market slowdown and high interest rates. This has led to disappointing sales figures, leaving investors disheartened and shares at an all-time low. Consequently, Rivian has been exploring various cost-cutting measures over recent months. Among the strategies employed by Rivian was the in-house production of some parts and renegotiating deals with suppliers. The company even went as far as shutting down a production line to enhance its efficiency. However, these efforts fell short, making layoffs unavoidable. In February, Rivian announced a 10% workforce reduction. Despite this, the company, which once boasted nearly 17,000 employees, has found it necessary to cut an additional 1% of its workforce. Company officials have acknowledged the difficulty of this decision, but deem it necessary to achieve a positive gross margin by year-end. They also noted that the cuts primarily affected staff supporting the business. On a positive note, Rivian recently unveiled a new model, the R2 SUV. This compact and more affordable alternative to the R1S was initially planned for production in a new plant. However, Rivian decided to manufacture it in an existing plant, a move expected to save the company over $2 billion. The R2 SUV is slated for delivery in the first half of 2026. Number 4. Fisker's Stock Plummets – Job Cuts to Preserve Capital Last year, Fisker unveiled an impressive SUV called the Ocean, but it didn't do much to turn the tide. The company is in dire straits. Fisker's stock has been on a downward spiral, and the recent announcement of more layoffs has only added to the turbulence. Initially, investors seemed relieved when the company announced it was in talks with potential buyers, but the layoff announcement has kept the storm brewing. According to company officials, the plan is to implement even more job cuts as it's the only way to preserve capital while there's still some left. Consequently, this sent Fisker's stock back into the red, setting it up for high volatility. According to Business Insider, these layoffs will take place within the next two months as the company sent an email stating, Fisker is diligently pursuing all options to address our operating cash requirements, including maintaining discussions with prospective buyers and investors, and exploring various restructuring alternatives. There is a possibility, however, that these efforts will not be successful. For industry experts, this could even signal that the company's days may be numbered. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore number three, GM's Lake Orion plant faces challenges. GM, a traditional automaker that embraced electrification with gusto, is now navigating a slowdown and figuring out survival strategies to conserve its capital. The situation has escalated to the point where GM was compelled to buy back some of its shares. The root cause? The new EVs based on the Ultium platform aren't living up to expectations. 
Meanwhile, the successful Chevy Bolt EV and EUV models have been discontinued, with no successor expected before 2025. This has forced GM to cut jobs at the Lake Orion plant to save money. GM has announced a workforce reduction of 24% at the plant, which employed 1,261 workers before the layoffs. The company is now retooling the plant for the production of all-electric pickups like the Silverado EV and Sierra EV. Fortunately, most of the affected employees at the Orion plant, represented by UAW Local 5960, have been offered new roles at other GM facilities. GM's struggle with EVs continues as it has postponed several major EV investments, including the aforementioned electric pickups. Originally slated to start production this year, they are now expected to hit the assembly line no earlier than late 2025. The production of the new drive unit has also been pushed to year-end. Number 2. Ford F-150 Lightning Production Slashed by Two Thirds Ford, the first of the big three to launch an all-electric pickup, saw its F-150 Lightning's initial demand cool down due to its lesser capabilities compared to its ICE counterpart. This led to dwindling interest and falling sales, forcing Ford to offer massive discounts of $7,000 to $15,000 per vehicle. As a result, Ford started incurring significant losses, losing over $36,000 on every electric F-150 sold last year, with a total loss exceeding $5 billion in 2023. Faced with no other option, Ford management decided to significantly cut production. Initially planned to be halved, the production was recently announced to be reduced by two-thirds. This decision impacted the workforce significantly. Out of 2,100 workers at the Rogue Electric Vehicle Center in Dearborn, only 700 will remain. The rest will either be transferred to the Wayne plant to build Bronco and Ranger models, or choose between a $50,000 retirement package or reassignment in Southeast Michigan. Number 1. Rumors of another round of layoffs at NEO China, often hailed as the world's most advanced EV market, is not immune to challenges. Like the rest of the world, its growth has decelerated, competition has intensified, and a price war is underway. It's clear that many companies are battling to stay afloat. NEO is one such company. Its shares have plummeted to 90% below their 2021 peak. Despite decent sales figures and some growth, the company isn't turning a profit. Naturally, NEO has been exploring ways to cut costs. In November, it reduced its workforce by 10%, and now, rumors of another round of layoffs are circulating. While company officials have dismissed these rumors, chatter on social media suggests otherwise. Even NEO's CEO, William Lee, has expressed his intention to eliminate redundant and inefficient roles, lending credence to the rumors. Whether these layoffs will materialize and how many workers will be affected remains to be seen. However, one thing is certain. Companies like NEO are facing unprecedented struggles, signaling a radical shift in the landscape of China's automotive industry. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay updated on the next vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.